And that happened all over the continent, everywhere that ridiculous British crown considered itself to be in charge, as well as all the other colonizers. And so when those folks came back, there was even a greater push after freeing people out of Auschwitz and other places to say, hey, why are we not free? And Pan-Africanism, in the way that we talk about it now, was born at that time. And so you have these new nations that come into being, and most of these new nations reject capitalism. They reject white supremacy. 